Today I'll be showing you my 1969 to 1970 U.S. Marine Corps loadout for airsoft. So, starting off with the webbing, uh, it's on a uh, second power and empty six belt, and there's two second power and empty six uh, pouches on each side. Uh, in the middle, there's a World War II jungle first aid kit. Guys in uh, even in the later war, Marines were still getting World War II stuff, but here's all the contents inside of it. Below that, there's a uh, Carlisle bandage pouch. And uh, right here is a uh, second parent M56 canteen cover. And inside, there's a canteen cup. And uh, inside of it, there's also a plastic canteen. And right here is the M1910 uh, hanger hook uh, canteen cover with a plastic canteen over here is my m17 gas mask bag and then uh this is the uh, xm3 uh general purpose bipod uh for the m16 and then uh over here is my m43 shovel uh I plan on getting a M41 haversack, which is the main thing I'm missing right now for this loadout, but this will be hanging off of it. Uh, something else that I'll go on the haversack is this uh, this poncho right here. That's the uh, 1966. And then over here, I've got some uh, personal items. So I got rifle bore cleaner, I got um, some boot dubbing. I've also got some uh, C ration stuff. Uh, here's my 1945 date uh, mess tin. Once again, all that stuff right there is gonna go inside the uh, M41 haversack when I get it. Uh, right here is a Repro uh, clay Claymore bag. Um, the only difference between this uh, Repro is and the vietnam ones is the vietnam ones they have a uh, more of a greenish color instead of this like uh, khaki-ish color and the uh the vietnam ones are a little bit uh smaller but inside of that i keep a uh another uh plastic canteen this one's actually dated 66 so that's pretty cool all my other ones are post-war um and a uh, aluminum uh canteen uh, you can still see guys uh, using the World War II era canteens, even in the later stages of Vietnam. Uh, right here I've got my uh, dummy grenades, so I've got a Repro M18 smoke grenade and a uh, earlier war uh, lemon grenade and uh, the later war M67 grenade. So they're all pretty nice replicas uh here's my uh second pattern m55 flak jacket uh in the in the lower pocket i keep a uh, c ration accessory packet uh some i don't usually run around with suspenders uh with this loadout but suspenders you could use are the uh m56 suspenders and the uh m41 suspenders over here, I've got my ERDL fatigues. The uh, top is the green dominant, and the pants are brown dominant. Um, and then the belt is actually dated 1942. It's the, uh, it's this belt was used by the Marine Corps uh, all the way, a little bit after Vietnam, I believe, so yeah. Here's a, uh, just a regular, green t-shirt that I wear underneath my fatigues and then right here are my uh, 68 day uh, spike protective uh, third pattern jungle boots they have the uh, Panama sole but more guys had the uh, Viram sole but yeah these are actually original and unissued so they're pretty nice uh, for headgear, I've, I've got just a regular um, Rothko boonie hat. 
but uh, most of the guys had the uh, ERDL Goonie hats. And then here's my M1 helmet. Um, I don't have the uh, inner tube band on it, but some of the guys uh, still kept using the inner tube bands, but most of the guys in 1969-70 didn't have them. The liner, just a regular Vietnam liner that's missing the uh, sweatband. Um, inside my uh, Airsoft EMG XM16 E1, there is a, a 30 round mag. Later in the war, like around 1970 and 71, guys would usually maybe have like one of these mags and all the other mags be 20 rounders. So, yeah. And on it, I just have just a regular, uh, uh, regular uh, cloth sling so yeah that was pretty much everything for this uh loadout see you guys in the next one